お酒。Okay, now you can see his eyeballs out through the visor. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, another vlog on my channel. Um, today we've got a, a little outing with me and Mr. Hooray! <laughs> Wait yeah, I'm gonna have to start paying him. <laughs> He's been on that many, <laughs> that many vlogs. But um, we're actually going to a friend of ours house and uh, we've both bought some classic bikes. Some are pretty much finished and some need doing up. So, um, oh, sat nav. Some need doing up, so, but the, the big thing is the guy has got a really really impressive collection of classic bikes so um, he's kindly let us let us um, take the camera and show you guys what what he's got to offer so um, yeah really excited to see it stuff and um, if we're really lucky we might even explain a few of the really old pre-war bikes to us that I don't know anything about yeah I know all about them <laughs> <laughs> So basically, um, we've just got to the bikes now. <laughs> this is the bikes that we're going to buy, not not what we're um, not what I'm going to show you guys and stuff. So I don't know if a YSR 50 is what people know, but that's what a complete bike looks like. We've bought another three or four um, sort of like 50cc little bikes, so... Some are in boxes, some of the frames are powder coated, all random things. The good thing about all this is uh, Jim's going to put them all together. <laughs> hey listen, I've just had a look through it all and I think I know which one I'm going to end up with. <laughs> He's going to put them all together and then at the end I'm going to stand there on the video and go, yeah it was a bit tough. But I managed but, to get know, it done. I put, I put the effort in. <laughs> but yeah, we've got loads of stuff to. It sort of keeps them out of the old old folks' home. You see, over over winter time. So, um, yeah, really excited. All this as well. Yeah. Well, I'll just I'll make sure we've got. So yeah, there's boxes and boxes of um, of bits. But yeah, we're going to put all this stuff in the van, and then I'm going to take you over and show you all the classic bikes and stuff. So. Um, yeah, it's really, really impressive. So I'm, I'm quite excited to let you see this. Nobody's really seen them before. And um, the guy obviously keeps them in his private private collection. So um, yeah, excited. Right, so behind this blue door is probably what will be considered as a proper man cave. I don't know what it's gonna be like for light, but yeah, this is unbelievable. I've never ever seen so many bikes in a private collection in in one spot. I've, you nah, and there's some really lovely stuff right through from yeah. late sixties Hondas. Uh, an odd, odd, really odd thing. If you look at this, this is what was considered a kind of lame bike in the eighties when it came out. It's a two fifty Super Dream, but now when you see a, a, a really nice restore one, it's kind of nice. Takes you back a little bit, but also. You got all your, your your race bikes and proper provenance. You've got yeah. Uh, yeah, you've you've got Archibald TT winning bikes. You've got uh, Dave Jeffries bikes. You've got Joy Dunlop. Yeah. You've got uh, Robert Dunlop. There's some, there's some nice nice bits of kit. Pre predominantly, you've got race bikes down one side, really nice road bikes down the other. It's a it's a nice collection. Yeah. So these are obviously both painted in um, Yamaha France colours. Uh, first two bikes. Yeah. So this is a R seventy one, correct? Yeah. yeah. This one's an R seventy one. This is a. Why is it F seven fifty? But this is, this is full on factory. If you look, the reason you can tell they've got these were these were predominantly built for uh, endurance. So they've got the thing for in a in a. In oh, is that for putting oil in? Yeah, that's for. Well, it wouldn't have had. That's a cap. What they would have had as a as a dry joint where you you push a, an oil dispensing set amount in so every fuel stop as your rider's getting off and your rider's getting on obviously it's got the quick filler tank as well as the fuel were going in there'd be a guy putting a little bit of oil in there as well yeah and like how much oil would you put in put in the seat seat? Like not a lot like depends who were riding if you were riding it i'm over revving it back shifting i think you'd be putting quite a lot on there <laughs> so 
What else have we got? This is actually Archie Balls. This Archie, is Archie Ball bike, yeah, G6R oh, thousand. No. I think yeah. this won the two TTs when Diva got killed. Is that right? No, Quite I'm possibly, saying, yeah, all three. Yeah. I, I'm see, yeah, I think this has won both of the big bike races. Yeah, no, it's definitely a TT winning bike. Is this one? Yeah. yeah, and I think that's a TT winning winning bike as well. Yeah, got yeah. another Shrad Suzuki, um, Red Bull Honda. Yeah. Cameron, this is actually someone I have actually raced against, Cameron Donalds. Um, relentless, yeah, all relentless all color the Suzuki. Probably one of the most famous. Do you know what? The reason I like this collection is because when you go and see, I've seen a lot of collections, and I've got a few bikes myself. Myself, as have you, Lee. You tend to get people who collect one thing. They'll collect TZ Yamahas. They'll collect or RS yeah. Hondas, some people like LC, some people like Power yeah. Valve, some people like, you know, H2s, Kawasaki's. Well, this collection is completely eclectic. You've got small road bikes that, that were a bit dull in the time, but they're really nice now because of his story. He's got two strokes, four strokes, British bikes, Italian bikes, uh, and race bikes, road bikes. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird eclectic collection, which is what makes it really interesting for me. Right, yeah, there's just, I'll do a rundown now. Look, 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 look. So, you can see up here in the corner, this is three more, pretty much of what we have just bought, these little gag bikes. We've got two Yamahas and a, and a Suzuki. TY18 at the back. Uh, Ren Farquhar's, is it a, I think it's a 600 maybe? I think that's a, I think that's a 6.3, isn't it? Right? 6.7, no, no, it's actually a, it's a ZX6. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. 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 But yeah, the variety of, it's just mind-blowing. Absolutely, well, and then obviously this is the, this is then up, up the other side, so it's all, like James said, road bikes. Early Blade, SP1, SP2, Firestorm, uh, KR1, KR1S, ZZR750, no, that might be 400 actually. Is that 750? Yeah. And that's, yeah, yeah, so you've got both, 400, 750. Bimo, I don't know, that's a SB6, so that's a Suzuki Bimota. Weird thing, but like I say, it's a, it's a really eclectic kind of collection. It's, uh, that, and that's what makes it interesting. Unbelievable. And then, obviously, you can see behind all the, the bikes as well. A lot of memorabilia. And, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Nice. Absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah, thanks to... Um, Thanks to him for letting us in here, obviously, and then sharing it with, with all you guys. I hope it's brought back some good memories, for, especially from some of the TT bikes, from people that have watched past races and stuff. So, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this.